Hello, and welcome to The Gradual Report. My name, pronounced in an alien tongue, is actually quite disgusting. Today we take a look at Nipple75. It's a user's name. Don't be gross. Pictured here because she came to my comedy show. You did a fantastic job! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Happy face, cause I was there. You, sir, are amazing! Big letters! Can't wait for another show. K, love you, bye. All one word. Yes. Next report should be about elephants. They are my favorite animal, and with you talking about them would be awesome! Exclamation point. Hyphen Nicole, aka Nipple. Smile face, smile face. Nicole, I'd love to nipple your request. Did I just say nipple? Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. There are three species of elephants alive today. The African bush elephant, which is not as hairy as you would think. The African forest elephant, which is actually probably as hairy as you think. And the Asian elephant, also known as the Indian elephant, which is quite hairier than you would think. It's actually the hairiest of all the species. No longer with us is the mammoth, which is the hairiest elephant that's ever was. And the pink elephant, which runs alongside your car on sleepless drives across the country in our minds forever. The proboscis, or trunk, of an elephant is actually a fusion of the nose and the upper lip, elongated and specialized to become the elephant's most useful appendage. The elephant's penis, of course, is extremely jealous of the trunk, and when interviewed was quoted as saying, it may be able to spread the butter, but I've got the butter. Ill gross, semen joke. African elephants are equipped with two projections at the tip of their trunk, whereas Asian elephants are only equipped with one. It's not racist, it's just counting. The elephant's trunk is sensitive enough to pick out a single blade of grass, and yet strong enough to rip the arms off of a circus clown. It's a childhood thing. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Intellectually, elephants are extremely smart. They write books with their giant hooves. <laughs> no, they don't. That's ridiculous. But they are self-aware. Experiments were done where a smudge was put on an elephant, and then he was shown himself in a mirror, and when he looked into the mirror, he recognized his own face, and that there was a smudge on it. So he rushed us out to smudge. This makes the elephants very smart. <laughs> Doesn't it? And that might be a small thing to some of us, but it's actually quite a big deal. You see, to be able to distinguish yourself from other people around you gives you the ability to engage in complex social structures with feelings of empathy and revenge and rage. And god damn it, it was just a clown! Final! Summation Nipples! Elephants, elephants' nipples. The ability to distinguish these things from each other could save your life. Subscribe, rate, elephant nipples are the size of plates. Ha. Uh. Uh, I'll see you, Tasty Little Lemon Drops, on Monday, when we continue our very important work. Oh yeah, I put a link to a website to the thing below. It's for talented people. If you feel talented, you should check it out, man.